Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zog coming to you from somewhere in this world and we're back to continue our playthrough of Phoenix Point, the year one edition. And uh, we just got uh, a nice little mission done last episode here and the, the reward from it was some, <laughs> some, it was a large amount of research uh, to help us out. So I haven't seen it hit yet, but I'm sure as we uh, click the timer and start moving forward, we're gonna get a big jump in research because we gained 900 in research, pretty amazing. If we look in here, that should give us a tremendous jump against our bionic technology. And also, uh, we gained a new research option here with antediluvian archeology span uh, based on Helena's research and whatnot that we got. So uh, we have something new to explore and I'm gonna probably try to put that into the queue here in a way that uh, we get it up near the top so we can get moving on some of this stuff so maybe we can have some fun with some of this uh, antediluvian as they're calling it uh, stuff to work on in the future so uh, we'll keep it this way try to finish the bionic technology first and we'll move on to the antediluvian archaeology and I think I'm fine then going with Pandoran and uh, we'll see if I change my mind. I, after doing our next nest or whatever comes up, I may decide that hatching sentinel all of a sudden <laughs> is a priority again. We'll see. And uh, what I'm thinking at the moment is we have the Tiamat very close to uh, joining up with the base here, which is good because everybody will get while we're waiting is... Uh, some training at the base and then we need to head our manticore over in that direction but i'm thinking since we're here uh maybe we ought to stop by this exploration site uh, the tomb of the mad scientist and see what is in there let's hope it's not too difficult at this point we will find out uh, we do have some injuries we'll make sure we have med kits uh, equipped and actually we have a promotion to get out of the way first before we move on uh, Joe let's take a look at what you have here we are able to do our next level of promotion and that would be reloading and inventory actions to not cost anything however I think our funds are better spent either with farsighted to gain extra willpower and perception and uh, we've been missing for our sniper rifle the ability to overwatch um, just because of the cost not being reduced so these two are quite important to me i think though we'll start with farsighted and i don't know that i want to dip into the phoenix point uh, skill points yet hmm master marksman is pretty dang tempting also But I think uh, I've, I've felt the frustration of not being able to overwatch with the sniper rifle. So I'm going to dip in here, use seven of these points, uh, team points over here, just to get Joe uh, buffed up. Because I actually have, have been using you, Joe, more as a sniper than an, an assault. So let's, let's at least get you caught up with this sniper build. The challenges of multi-classing is not enough skill points to necessarily go around because... Jeez, I want it all. <laughs> I want it all and I want it now. Um, what I will do, however, is we're going to park the new Jericho weapon here and we are going to put, because I, well, let me double check. I think you are one of the two that is injured. Yeah, you have an injury here, so we're going to want to get you healed up as soon as possible. As a matter of fact, do we have an extra med kit, kit that we can throw your way? It sure doesn't look like it. Why don't we build one that we can throw your way? There we go. You'll be over encumbered, but hopefully first, tune, first turn, we won't be in an awkward situation and uh, we'll have the ability to use it. The good news is we have a new Jericho Gauss sniper rifle. And let's just take a look. We may want to switch one of our snipers because we actually have one bit of ammo for it. Let's see if it's any or particularly better. Damage 130 versus damage 110. Effective range is less though at 45. So our, our aim won't be quite as good with it. But when we do hit, 
we're gonna do some extra ammo let's get let's give it a little test drive here and see what we think and see what we think uh, as far as uh, anybody else that's injured, there is one more of us. Sade has a slight injury. Everybody else is healthy. Uh, we're going to have to probably after this absolutely do no more missions because our stamina is starting to get a little bit critical. So uh, let's do that while we're over here. Let's take in this next mission. Research complete. Yep, and there is the research uh, bonus that we got from uh, Dr. Helena has hit so we have some new items available <laughs> for manufacture let's go take a look at what they are so far oops an antediluvian archaeology research has finished and an event has come up <laughs> so everything's going boom 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 just hitting 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 uh let's see whispers a rogue synedrian mercenary has approached us with an interesting offer he claims to have a recording of a secret communication between Subject 24 and leaders of the Malthusian faction and is willing to sell it to us for a price. And I'm thinking since we have the materials at the moment, I've played a playthrough where I couldn't get it and I always kick myself when something like that happens. I want to see what it's all about. So let's accept. And we have a new Geoscape target called guided by whispers smart move Mikhail your betrayal of Sinadrian will bring benefits to both of us the Malthusian faction never belonging with those deluded deluded idealists anyway like the Phoenix project they cannot understand the true horrors the horrors of the world because they've never seen it the misguided dreams they surround themselves with are dangerous, leading humanity to a dead end. For the sake of the future, they must be exterminated. Exterminated! Again and again and again. You, though, have shown us that you have what it takes to begin anew. It's almost impressive how well Sinatrion scientists have adapted new Jericho's technology. In a few months, they've achieved more than the West could in decades. And still those that lead them suffer the same fallacy as he did. As he did, they are not prepared for total conversion, <laughs> abandoning flesh to embrace the machine. You have 24 hours to remove your conspirators from the research area. When we attack, all will be gunned down. Gunned down! After that, the second renaissance will begin. Beginning and end. Alpha and Omega. You'll have your chance to break from St. Adrian, and Tobias West and the other cowards will be purged away. Just don't try to cross us, Mikhail. If this turns out to be a trap, trap, we'll still get the technology, and the Malthusians will be added to the extinction list. Okay, so... Um, it would seem the pure are not necessarily to be trusted. This overheard conversation we just got a, able to witness here seems uh, that they don't hold us in high regard either. So uh, we're going to have to watch our backs with the pure. And now we are armed with some knowledge. So everything's hitting all really fast here. We are not the first to seek the secrets of the antediluvian civilization. Throughout history, great collectors have prized surviving texts and schemata of antediluvian origin. Today, some of these collections lie forgotten in the ruins of our own pre-Pandora virus cities. Others are in the hands of the disciples of Anu, New Jericho, and Sinedrian. We need them if we are to succeed against the Pandoran threat. Our research indicates one such collection, which describes a weapon of staggering simplicity and effectiveness, is located in a city not far from our base. Further investigation is a priority. So we've had, uh, once again, a new geoscape, the Matok. So we have one right here. There's the Matok. And then there's one more guided by whispers, which is going to have a timer somewhere. Let's just take a peek at it. Okay, it's not too far away down here. So we have a timed mission down here uh, to gain some uh, information or, or bionic plans uh, to hopefully use against the pure, since we know now they are not to be trusted. 
Uh, manufacturing, uh, why are we looking at uh, something to notify me here? Let's take a look. Ah, we have, because we have new things available. A repair kit, repairs 40 hit points, augmented body parts only. Oh, armor is where the rest of it will be. No, oh, I know where the rest of it is. Uh, we have a new building for our base, I believe. And there it is. Uh, well, actually, we have two new buildings for our base. We have a cybernetics lab uh, to get up and running so we can take advantage of this cybernetic technology which we've gained. And we have an archaeology lab which will help us in our search uh, for these ancient weapons and uh, whatnot. So I'm not going to go in here and spend just yet on here. I'm going to just go ahead and complete this mission first. And then we'll have to kind of take a moment to take a look at our priorities here. Yeah, we're all good. We're good. So we're going to uh, take a look at our priorities. I think the reason this is flashing is we probably have some new recruits available. Yep, there is. And uh, let's see, farsighted thief and sniperist. So we have uh, an assault that could easily um, transfer into, and actually with this thief perk, kind of become... Well, I can't. I don't think we can double cross class. So it'd be nice to have infiltrator and a sniper kind of combined. So we may ha we have the option here. We'll we'll have to keep it in mind for another assault sniper build. All right, let's get moving. Uh, a lot just happened there to delay us from our ultimate target here, right ahead of us. Uh, let's just get to it. Tomb of the Mad Scientist. We have encountered another alien structure. This time, there are no signs of battle outside. So let's start the mission, take a look at the team we want to put in. We're going to do one final double check uh, to make sure we're all outfitted and equipped. Uh, we have the extra med kit for you, Joe, which is good. We have your new sniper rifle to give a little test drive with. And... Uh, Sade, you were the also injured, but you have two med kits, so that should be good for you. And maybe, I'm wondering, we have three of these available. I wonder if we uh, maybe want to bring in a purification grenade. I actually have to read up and figure out what this exactly does. Uh, how it, it's an incendiary grenade. Okay, so it... Uh, causes some flame and fire. Let's just pack it in here just in case we have a chance or, or need. I'm not gonna just throw it just because, uh, but if we have some kind of emergency need where an incendiary grenade seems to be uh, available. Robbie, you're, you're carrying it just because you can. And other weapons. Well, we do have backup ammo here for that, so we're good there for Will Smith. Sigourney Weaver, and I think we are equipped. So uh, let's get back here and let's get in here to deploy the squad. All items on the battlefield will be automatically recovered so we don't have to run around picking up anything we might want. And uh, we'll see you on the battlefield. All right, let's take a look at what it looks like down here. I need to and I want to because guess what? I've never done this one before. Kind of a cool looking uh, vibe to this particular map. Yikes. <laughs> what an amazing platform that is. Well, it looks cool. Uh, unfortunately, if we need to escape, it looks like that option is way over there. Uh, so we'll kind of progress slowly here. We'll kind of see uh, if we can do some cautious initial moves. And uh, maybe set a lot of overwatch, see what we're hearing, and proceed that way. Just because I've never done this one before, I don't want to be reckless in our advance. I want to keep us alive. Let's see, Sade, I think what we'll do perhaps is get you situated right here with some overwatch to cover this opening while we start working on positioning everybody else. And we don't see anybody. So we'll come back and set the overwatch unless, because if something else all breaks loose elsewhere, I don't want you to have you, have you locked into overwatch. Um, we'll move, start moving the heavies forward, uh, clunking along, shouting, here we are, and let's see if we turn up any enemies. We'll 
position of someone right here to kind of have some view down here. Unfortunately, with these positions, we will not have Overwatch uh, with moving the heavies this far. So uh, we'll try and make sure in. we have some cover as we're moving forward. Uh, perhaps our snipers over on this side can provide some Overwatch. We shall see. Okay, we can get way over here, and I think I will run Will Smith. I'm going to run you over here because it is corner cover. I guess there's a chance they could be right here behind you. So uh, corner cover will work for me. Like the wind. Oh, and we've got our first enemy spotted, but it's at a distance. So, yeah, we're, let's park it right here and keep ourselves right there. And, uh, Nikolai, I'm kind of thinking... Uh, I might want to keep you handy over on this side should something break loose. Do I dare keep you in the open on Overwatch over here? Kind of thinking not. Let's get you off to the side. You guys will cover this side. It may be that one or the other side has to pull back depending on what we hear. See, I, I just don't know if they're going to come all at once, if they're going to come spaced out at us. Um, but since there have the unknown is able to advance potentially on both sides here, let's see if we can't set up to cover on both sides. And where you've spotted somebody else, and this guy, this dude, has a weapon. A regeneration is all we got to worry about there, and it's an independent assault, assault rifle, so it's not the worst in the world. So I think I will continue you over here, Nikolai. Um, kind of at a distance. Your cover's going to be pretty decent, so we'll take the chance that he takes two shots at you. Holy smokes! We have stirred up the hornet's nest over here. So maybe, just a maybe, they know we're here now, and they're going to come charging around this corner. That's kind of the feeling I have, don't you? So we're going to bring you back, Nikolai, all of a sudden. Let's see what the cover looks like from this different angle. Uh, we can't see him, but when he moves up, they'll be able to see around that corner. But I'm going to park you. Let's pull you farther back here. You can always come up to the corner if they come around in force and be able to fire. And with this in mind, I'm almost thinking that perhaps uh, we'll get our sniper parked here, right here with you, Robbie. And we're going to overwatch that opening. They're See who pours through. Me. Sade, we're going to cover that opening with you, too. Nice, some close range out, out overwatch from our assault. I keep my eyes open. Sigourney Weaver. This guy's fairly far back, but I think we'll just keep you here for the moment. And then Robbie, if I'm going to get you in cover to help cover on this side, do you have a tiny bit of protection from that side going there? Not really. Well, we're going to try it for this first turn. We can always relocate you after that. It does not give you overwatch like I would ideally like. But there is no cover, especially if they're going to come charging around here. Yeah, I'm not not feeling this cover. So maybe we got to get you moving a little different here. So if there's more that end up coming on this side, I just don't know which side I need to protect from with you. Yeah, and we can't go any farther back gain cover so I guess we're gonna have to park you in here and do a little pistol overwatch double time try not to pick up Sade in the process of providing overwatch and I think we're ready let's hope we aren't overwhelmed <laughs> Okay, so that Triton saw us and backed up. Smart guy. 
So there are a lot more on both sides. We're kind of getting sandwiched in, and this is a tactical thing that usually you don't want to get yourself caught in, and that is crossfire. Yikes. But I, I expected more by moving over here. Maybe somehow our perception was better than theirs. Is that what it is? I know it wasn't better than the Tritons. That's why he moved forward. Uh, he didn't like the reception we had for him. Question is now, are we going to have enough firepower over here? I see one Triton. Everybody else is going to want to come up close. Let's see what this guy looks like. Regeneration guy. Also, assault pistol. Wasn't that what the other one was? Yeah, regeneration. Oh, no. This is, uh, I thought, well, oh, well, I'm confused. I am confused. He's a close-up guy also. Um, what kind of a shot do we have wait. over here? The Triton, we definitely want to deal with. Lining up a shot. And it's not the most amazing chances to hit that we would have here. So uh, we don't really have the ability to move forward without cover to gain a better shot. We move forward, uh, we're susceptible to this. Now this Arthron gunner is very weak as far as uh, being able to hold up under fire. I wonder, Joe, what do you have in your uh, arsenal to help us out and who can you see? You can see the gunner and you can see the Triton. Let's try a first shot and we'll use a little uh, quick aim try and thin their ranks. Uh, first of all, let's get over to the sniper rifle we want. Let's see how this shot looks against the gunner. Looks pretty dang good if we can not uh, miss to the side under his arms. And that's about as centered and most definite as we can get it. Come on, let's go, Joe. Hostile down. Oh, ho, ho. good job, good shooting. Uh, now we're going to try the same thing over on the Triton. I don't know how good that shot was, though. Ready to Let's go fight. find out. Yeah, it's not, not maybe as good as we would like. This one, the chances to hit are not so great. Let's see if you can do it. And we hit a rock. <laughs> we hit a rock. Oh, well. So now it kind of makes me feel we're going to have this guy charging in to swipe at us. And we probably are going to end up using our shots to damage this Triton over here. So let's, uh, he has a weapon, so I feel like we got to try shooting him at a distance. He doesn't have return fire. What are the odds? Jeez, we got to call it less than 50% to even hit on one of these three, don't you think? Try it. Oh, well, you had the old scattering machine gun, so the, the odds of hitting turned out to be pretty dang good, even with some virus I was born damage. Ready. And if I don't have anybody else over here who can shoot back, do I dare bring a Sigourney Weaver out in the open? And let's go let's here real quick first. Um, we used, oh, uh, we do have will points, but he's not close enough. Well, that's what I was kind of thinking. Oh, we can do a little war cry, but they're too far away. Receiving. Do I have any other options? These two are kind of tied up to protect our backside. Uh, that Can't leaves wait. you, Robbie. Do you have a way you can move in position to help us out? We shall find out. You have a shot here, but that's not of who we want you to hit. And nothing else. So maybe the only option we have here is to bring you up for some overwatch down this way. And we just deal with overwatch. That means this guy's going to have a shot on us, though. But it is an independent assault rifle. So it's not necessarily the best weapon in the world to hit us with. So let, let's try that strategy. 
Um, over here. Let's show them what we can do. If we can get up this far uh, for some Overwatch. Place it here. Then that means I'm probably gonna bring you here for some Overwatch, Sigourney. You have a little bit of cover, and we'll kind of bring it out this way and see how that does for us. And then Nikolai, I think you and uh, Sade over here are going to have this other side covered to uh, see if this Triton gets brave to stick his neck out around the corner again. So we'll pop Roll. you right here for some Overwatch. Anything that moves, and Sade, dies. it's not necessarily the best cover for you if he comes charging around, but he didn't have a weapon. Let's hope there's not someone else hiding out back there with a weapon uh, that can hurt us either. Here we go. Holding position. And so much for your war cry, Will Smith. Let's see what happens. <laughs> nice. Sabled his head. Great teamwork. <laughs> now, uh, if anyone else comes around the corner, they got free reign, though. That's the problem. Okay, I see someone up here. Ah, the rocks. We should have waited till he cleared the rocks. We dazed him, and he is hurt bad. This guy, I think we've wasted our overwatch. Can he get close enough to whack them all? No, he cannot. Okay. I can deal with this. I can deal with these movements. Um, we do hear somebody behind this uh, curved amphitheater wall, and we actually see this guy over here. I wish I knew if he had a weapon or not, but let's worry about what we have over here first. Oh, well, once Pandora and activity ends. Oh, no. Sade is getting a whacked. Ah! And that is some paralysis we got going here. That's going to keep her from being able to shoot twice, I think. Zero damage, but he did hurt your armor, so uh, we can live with that one. We can live with that one. Okay, here I was all ready to move, thinking, oh, this is going to be easy. We only got these two to worry about. Well, we got a few more to worry about. Uh, Triton foot pad over here. A big unknown there and this. So we, we, we still got our hands full. Let's see if we can get rid of these immediate threats here, though. And I am thinking... This guy we can leave alone. He's gonna die. He's gonna drop at the beginning of next turn, so we don't need to waste anything on this guy. Uh, let's wait. see if we can tag team since his uh, shield is over this way. Let's see if we can get a hit with you, Will Smith. All right, we, 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 he's not in our way. I was a little bit worried about that at first. Um, Pretty good chance to connect on most of your bullets here. So let's uh, see if we can do it. Well, one stray bullet hit the guy. <laughs> so you got a kill out of it. Pretty awesome. Uh, we can have you guys. I think we can just move you up Sigourney Weaver. Do a little uh, smash and bash. And uh, secure this flank. All right, uh, then maybe what we can do is war cry with the, your remaining points unless we decide we need to move you somewhere else. And uh, Sigourney, that'll limit whatever this mystery Pandoran is. 
Uh, let's see if we can do some big time damage on this guy though. We do not need to take any more paralysis hits from this guy. Um, and I don't know that this which weapon will be the most effective. Let's let's try our first shot with this. He has Pain Chameleon, and we can take out Pain Chameleon, which is an important first shot. I wonder if overall, <laughs> quit moving guy, quit moving. I wonder if overall we'll do more damage with this weapon though. Let's find out. Uh, pretty similar. Both of them can take out the Pain Chameleon, uh, so why not add a little another uh, something something to it. Well, since when did he, he go hiding here, huh? There we go. That's better. So we, this says we can take out the torso and we're going to give it a shot. Target and he's hit. got acid. We disabled the torso so he's not disappearing. You ain't hiding from us. Unfortunately, Sade is down to not enough ability to do anything else. Well, we can do some more damage this way. Why not? And then if we needed to, we can bring you right up over here, Nikolai. <clears throat> and then we have to set up for them coming around the corner. Ooh, but the shield bearer is far, far too close. In fact, the shield bearer probably can reach. Yes, the shield bearer can reach. Poor little Sade over here. Uh, but I do need to come up with a plan to get rid of this uh, little Triton poacher here because uh, we don't need any more hurt. We don't need any more paralysis. So what can, what we can do. you guys help out with? Well, Sade's in the way. So that ain't, that ain't good, although we do have quick aim available if we uh, improve our angle a little bit. Unfortunately, I don't like the idea of standing you out in the open to get that angle. Because we got that guy with the weapon behind the corner. Hmm. And then we can follow up and uh, have some overwatch then with you two, though, to help protect us a little bit. Yeah, I don't like that angle either. The only the only way we can be sure, Robbie, uh, don't don't uh, say bad things about me for doing this to you. But I do think you're going to be safe enough with the Overwatch and the weapons that would be coming at us that we're aware of. Um, this guy in particular, the weapon he is carrying, is uh, the independent assault rifle. I don't think uh, we have to worry about that. Any major kill from you, yeah, it may hurt. <laughs> Ain't gonna deny that. But we need to protect Sade and the rest of the team at the same time. So we're going to have you take one for the team. And finish this guy off. Center right there and he's gone. Thank you, Robbie. So Nikolai, you know that means. And the problem is, I... I we, well, it doesn't matter who we do damage on. We need to do damage on both. So uh, let's get the Overwatch set. And we'll set it right there, trying to pick this guy up if he sneaks around the corner uh, to take another shot at us. I am going to do the war cry here with you just to try and keep this guy out of it. Maybe that way we're only going to have to worry and deal with two. <laughs> Whoever he is, whoever you are out there, and uh, we'll just keep you there for now. Now, Joe, we got to set you up to help us out also. So we'll just do the overwatch here. Uh, I'm kind of cheating off here a little bit because if the alien runs now, I don't, I don't think we have to worry about that. The only way that uh, Sade will be in our, our line of sight is if it gets right in here and we would hit it or shoot at it before it gets there. So uh, we'll set you up like this. And Will Smith, this side does seem to have calmed down a little bit. So we start bringing you back in this general direction. 
Moving to coordinates. Here we go. Let's find out if we've made the right moves. That's the one that was trying to shoot at you. We got him. Uh-oh. Close up. Sean Sade. But he's dazed. That's what saved us. Oh, there's another foot pad over there. Is that that's the one we did harm to? We got another shield bearer over here. Oh, we still got a lot more coming at us, but at least they're more spaced out. Nice. All right, we may have the tools to deal with this. And Robbie, look at. You are totally healthy. <laughs> we took a chance and it paid off for us. Uh, what we're going to do here is see if we can't finish off the guy in front of us first with you, Sade. Once again, you are paralyzed somewhat. Uh, regeneration. Do we have any? Oh, yeah, we, we shoot this guy in the head. And uh, looks like that might be our kill shot. Excuse me. It's like the mouse had a mind of its own, and uh, there we go. That's the shot we wanted. That's the one that looks like it'll take him out. Uh, now we have a single movement point left. No bashing available. We've panicked this guy. Do we panic any others? This guy's panicked. So two out of the four that we can see and that we're aware of are panicked. Hmm. So maybe what we can do let's send you up here Nikolai to bash. And then Nikolai let's bring you back or move you forward on my way this guy's gonna want to shoot us right and so we can bring you robbie over to eh, it's not great cover at this angle but it's something and uh, we'll overwatch you against this guy's approach and sade we'll just keep you there for the moment we have the ability to pick something up and he what did he drop another synedrian neuro pistol uh, let's pick it up. Maybe it comes with ammo. Probably not. Oh, it's a Sinedrian neural pistol. That's a different. That's a different kind. You, we, we'd get it anyway. But uh, you had a movement point left, and I wasn't going to move you. So there you go. Um, Sigourney Weaver. If I bring you up too far, oh, he's panicked now. Great. So we can bring you out here and do a boom, boom, boom. On the move. On this guy. Down around the legs will do a world of hurt. How does that taste? And uh, Will Smith, can we get you far enough forward? Well, we can get you far enough forward here to bash him out of existence. Alright, let the panic expand on these guys. Uh, he's losing will points, but he's still in the game. The Tritons have a little more will than these lowly Arthrons. Anyone left? And that is you. One more Overwatch here. Uh, let's provide it. Hopefully this guy coming around the corner. I don't think... Nikolai, you'll be in the line of sight here. Uh, should the guy come around the corner, I think we're safe with that Overwatch. And let's find out if I'm right. Yet another one out there. Just when you think maybe you're getting to the end. I see how this mission is. I see how it is. Nice hit. Good job, Robbie. Oh, it didn't run through the overwatch of Joe, and Sade gets hit. Again. Now he, now after the fact. Oh. Yikes. 
So Sade, uh, I think you have some med kits. Yeah, your your arm is definitely hurting you right now, isn't it? And you've got some paralysis to work with. Let's get a med kit rotated in there for you. Since you can't seem to be able to use the weapons at the moment. And uh, make that the first action. Stop that bleeding. Count to ten. Breathe. Okay, almost back to full health. Uh, we have the ability to war cry on this guy that's left over here. We don't know what kind it is or what it's all about. We don't know. Maybe if we're lucky. I don't know if we can see it around the corner. Let's find out. There's a chance we will be able to from here. And if we uh, can't take a shot. Let's find out what this shot looks like. We can always... Uh, Pretty dang good shot on this guy to do a heck of a lot of damage. Now, what kind of uh, is he gonna mist mist away on us? No, just regeneration. Uh, no return fire, so we're good to take this shot. Nikolai, do your best. Let's blast them. Resisted, resisted, so he's still standing. And he's not dazed, uh, so we do have to worry about potential damage from this guy. Can we get some help out for you? And get maybe a pistol shot over here? Starting to get dangerous on what we need to do. We got these guys over here, though. So, uh, do we have the ability to jump anywhere nearby? Hmm, not really. So forget about that. Uh, but we do have the ability to war cry for you. And I think that's just what we'll do. We're going to get you over here. Will Smith, you do have the will available. Let's, let's, hear, your, let's hear your best yell. <laughs> That'll help. That'll give him only one shot. And with your armor, Nikolai, you'll be fine. Uh, in the meantime... Why not see if we can't? That's not really cover. This would be cover, but I don't know. We can shoot around you, Nikolai. Here we get ahead of you, but then we put Robbie in danger yet again. I hear. I can't get Joe run up far enough. All set. Now, if I bring you over here, Sigourney, to try and throw a grenade to help protect us, that means you're going to be susceptible and in range more than likely of that guy, I think. Uh, but we're going to take that chance, Sigourney. You're tough. You're a tough one. On it. Let's, let's try to damage him down some more. What we do, he's disabled his legs. Two legs. Looks like both legs are disabled, along with the head. He's bleeding 30. Now I'm feeling, Robbie, I want to run you up with your pistol to see if we can get him damaged enough or he'll bleed out on us. So we're, we're going to try the pistol shot for you from over here. I've got this. And uh, you have a chance to kill the dude. <laughs> So much for bleeding out. Now we don't have to worry. Uh, the next one, though, that we do have to worry about is going to be a long-range guy possibly coming at Sigourney Weaver. So if we can get you out of here with your sniper rifle, we can get you... Eh, that might give you a narrow path with which to provide Overwatch to help protect us against that other Arthron. We'll find out. I'm on my way. Yeah, and it gets out there at a pretty good distance. But if he's going to come at us, he's got to come through this narrow opening. So why not just set it there and make the shot a little more reliable? Overwatching. Will Smith will keep you there. And let's see if that Arthron can make it to us. <laughs> Oh, we 
got the hit hit the big part of the shield. That's the problem. But we hit the arm. We disabled his arm. That is cool. I think if we hit that arm with his shield, yeah, I don't see a shield there if you ask me. I think his arm that had the shield is gone. So let's try this. He uh, would appear like he could be the last enemy, eh? Sigourney, since he was coming for you. Oof. He has return fire, though, so we don't want you to miss. Uh, no, well, we whatever weapon he was carrying, I think we took care of it. <laughs> His spitterhead's gone. Everything's gone on this guy. Let's take a look at the uh, info on this. Yeah, he's just got his, he only had a spitter hat. I could have sworn I saw the machine gun on this guy. Could have sworn I saw it. I think what we'll do is we'll uh, run you up just a tiny bit, Joe, and uh, I'm going. take a non-quick aimed shot. Oh yeah. yeah. And we did it, I think. Yes. Awesome. All right. Well, we didn't have to explore uh, the grounds around here very much. We pretty much uh, fought it out right where we started. Uh, it was tough being in a pincer attack, having uh, them attack from both sides. But you guys were up to it. Great job. Epitaph. Whatever happened here, it seems that Alexander Danchev was harvesting biomaterial from Pandorans, a risky business which ultimately spelled his doom. The only thing left from his body were fragments of bone and cloth. His ultimate creation survived him. Another, haha, <laughs> another living weapon of great power. Let's go take it. The Danchev machine gun. Uh, the weapon is heavy and very, very <laughs> hungry. <laughs> it is restored to full functionality, and a few preliminary tests suggest that it spews highly poisonous projectiles at a high rate. A weapon suitable for a heavy class of soldier. So that's another cool pickup for us. Uh, we'll think about who we want to outfit that with, or who we should get that one. Uh, we will replenish. We have the resources. And there we go. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm going to pause. We may be at our time limit with uh, how long it took us to get over here and all the story advancements we had uh, and the mission itself. We may be at our time limit. Let's see if there's any new. We can reverse engineer the neural pistol. So we have a neural pistol available. They were using it against us. Wouldn't it be nice to paralyze someone else with this pistol instead of ourselves? Um, I think I might as well get these two other things over here. Uh, I'm kind of thinking I want to move the hatching sentinel above the human population census, but we'll keep Pandoran evolution there. There we go. We still have, oh, we got, we still got a lot. And you can see I don't use a lot of the shield, so I'm not, if, if some of you have uh, great ideas or have found the shields to be massively uh, effective or minorly effective uh, let me know in the comments is this something i should be uh moving up the ladder and trying to trying to use i mean at some point i will just to get a feel for them again see if i find a use but just haven't felt that yet i imagine uh, a sniper at a distance that doesn't have cover could come in handy so they can stand out in the open like we had robbie and still potentially have cover available with this shield um, that's about the only instance in my mind that i can think of having this come in handy so uh, let me know if you have any other ideas yourself and actually i'm not going to take a look at the time i have a feeling it was long enough with that mission and everything that went on before uh, and if it is a little shorter than some of the others, uh, so be it. We'll just get to the next one that much quicker. Uh, so next time, I will not allow myself to be uh, enticed by nearby missions here and here because uh, our stamina sucks right now. We have no choice but to get back down uh, to our base down here, and we'll still see if we have a chance to beat the Tiamat. <laughs> 
Uh, uh, before we leave and I end this though, uh, let's see what our one promotion is. And it looks like Sade. Let's see what she has available as a promotion. Okay, she, reloading and inventory actions no longer cause an action point. We'll, we'll take that one. And uh, we're not cross-classing yet. We may decide to use the strongman cross-class. Not sure yet, not sure yet. But in the meantime, uh, we'll give her a little more speed. I always like a little extra speed on our assaults. All right, everybody. So uh, thanks so much for watching and tuning into this episode. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I had uh, enjoyment playing it. Uh, hit me a like and uh, help out this channel with some uh, activity like that. Also, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Just say hi if you have nothing to say. Let me know where you're watching from. I get a kick out of finding out that you guys are watching from all over the world sometimes, and that that's kind of cool. Uh, thanks so much uh, for watching. Hope to see you next time. This is Zig Zag Zag signing off from somewhere in this world.